Nope. I still show up on time. Stay a minute, another minute. Hold on a second, I love this moment. So first, uh, you need to set your aspect ratio to 16 by 9, so that's the landscape. Of course, you're gonna need to uh, use the template that I made, uh, that's gonna be on the link on the description. Pre-made template so you can create your own style and add your icon as well. You're gonna see what I'm trying to say here along with this tutorial, so please bear with me. And yes, I know we're stuck looking at, looking for the, there you go, the, the template. Alright, so let's play it for a while so that you're gonna see what you're gonna uh, use for your own personalized subscribe button. So here we go. Uh, we're now going to add your own uh, channel icon or ch channel avatar. Uh, you just need to pre-made your own uh, channel icon so you can follow this step so I made a lot of icon here so I think we're gonna stuck for a while <laughs> I kept on scrolling down scrolling down scrolling down scrolling down and I still cannot find my own channel icon here oh my god it's in the depth of my bunch of <laughs> pre-made icons. Oh wow. Okay, we're almost there. I think so. Yes, we got it! There you go. Okay, now the next thing that you're gonna do here is to resize your channel icon. So mine is gonna be a mix of a uh, transparent uh, channel icon so that it will gonna fit on the subscribe button here. So there, um, you need to get into the middle part, yeah, to balance it, like what I'm doing here now. Okay, you can see that I'm trying to fit the my channel icon here. So you need to balance it. You need to have like a steady hand to do this. Okay, I think that's already fit. Good, in, uh, looking good at the uh, at the center. No, at the center piece of that subscribe button. So let's try it. Okay, looking good. So the next thing that you're gonna do is to export it and then the next step we're gonna do is to add an effect or transition um, animation to it. So here we go, we're exporting the first uh, template file. So it's up to you to select either 10, 1080p or 720p uh, aspect ratio or aspect export. All right. Afterwards, we're gonna do another uh, exporting. So we need to again select your aspect ratio by um, 16 by 9 and then add your previous export. All right, on this part, I just made a little bit mistake here since the uh, in animation is not visible. You just need to add your four background color. So since it is a gray, uh, green screen effect, we need to have a green color background all right and then duplicate your previous file as a layer and then remove the other one and then extend it matching to the length of your exported file earlier so yes you just need to do that as you can see here now all right so that we could add an in animation like you can see here all right you just need to uh, know the exact uh, in animation that you're gonna use 
So for most commonly uh, used uh, in animation is the um, inner uh, slide up. All right, here you go. There you go. As you can see that. And then the out animation should be exit slide down. It's up to you how you gonna uh, put your own uh, in animation to it. So this is just gonna be a simple and easiest step for you to do your own subscribe button or your personal subscribe button. All right, so we're almost done here. Uh, I, as you can see here, I'm showing you some sort of uh, in animation that you can use so you can create your own originality for the subscribe button that you're going to make using this template all right I think we're almost done why am I still <laughs> okay uh, the background music I think for this one is not necessarily that you can add a sound sound effect here because most uh, subscribe button do comes with sound effect right but for me I rather have it like that just a silent subscribe button all right we're gonna export it now and I think that's it we're done for today Hope you like it and subscribe for more!